Atlanta, Georgia. Man, he's really flying. Chopper cameraman Rick Nelson tracks down a runaway suspect on the interstate. Going south. We just got a call saying there was a police chase on 400. He was moving, doing about 100, 110. Nelson has no idea that he's about to witness one of the most tragic and violent pursuits ever caught on tape. The man's crime? Passing a bad check. Forgery. That just seems incomprehensible that forgery, you'd be running that fast and risking your life and everybody else's life. Ground units try to keep up with the suspect. But they can't match his reckless pace. The man clips a construction barrel, nearly losing control. But instead of slowing, he guns it. You just can't control a vehicle that, at that rate of speed. And you're gonna hit something. The driver takes a ramp toward a busy freeway interchange. It's the last mistake he'll ever make. Just shot. It was really an horrific wreck. Clipped the rear end of another small vehicle. We just threw him across the freeway to the wall. He was ejected as he hit the wall. He went out the window over to about the second lane of 285. It just was unbelievable. By the time cruisers arrive, there's only a cloud of dust. Officers rush to the man's aid. Hey, Listen, I need you to open your eyes for me. Open your eyes. But there's nothing they can do for him. It's one of the grimmest scenes they've ever had to secure. Their only solace is that it could have been much, much worse. He was the only injury in, in the whole event. The thought that nobody else was injured was amazing. Absolutely stunning. It's a frightening accident that Rick Nelson will never forget. To risk that kind of life in your life, it's just not worth it.